Hello, welcome to another help video from MindServe. On this video I'm going to show you how to email your audio files from your Olympus dictaphone to somebody via email um, on Outlook Express or Microsoft Ex Outlook. Before I go any further, what I want you to first do is if you look here, down in the corner of this screen, you'll see what looks like four little arrows facing outwards. I want you to click on those now, okay? There. What that happens now is that makes this a full screen, okay? So anything you're viewing that I do, you can now see it in a full screen. To go back, just click on this here, okay? So, like I said, go down to here and click there where it says full screen, okay? I'm just going to pause this for a second. Right, let's begin. Now first things first, you need to connect your dictaphone up to your computer. Okay, you do this with the long black lead called a USB lead. Um, on one end of it you will find that it's a flat connection as near as, and on the other end of the lead is a smaller connection. The larger flatter end goes into the USB socket on the computer or the laptop. The smaller end of it goes into the bottom of your dictaphone. So if you do that now, right, so assuming you've done that, you may already have see when um, Olympus Sonora Tree starting to load up on your screen. If not, you need to do it yourself, okay? I'll double click here. Now you will, chance I, if you've got limb sonority, you will find this on your desktop somewhere, okay? If not, you'll find it under Start, My Programs, Olympus, and then Olympus Sonority. Right, as you can see, you've got the your main window here for Olympus Sonority. Now on this side, all the blue folders are the folders that are on your computer at the moment. All the yellow folders are the folders that are on your dictaphone. Okay, so although you have something say here on your dictaphone, it doesn't necessarily mean you've got it on your PC or laptop. So, what we're going to do, we're going to transfer this file here, my audio file, and we're going to transfer it into this folder here okay now the, the easiest quickest way to do this go to device up here click download folder a because as you can see it is folder a so I'll do that there you go now what that's done now that's transferred the every all the files in folder a that were on the dictaphone okay now the folders are still on the dictaphone which means you've got a copy on the dictaphone and a copy on your computer now. Okay. So I'm going to move this to one side a little bit. Now on uh, Microsoft Outlook, okay, or any email program that you're using, okay. Click on New Email. Okay. There we go. All right. Now. On if you're using something like um, a Hotmail or BTC or something like that, you may have to click on a little symbol that says attachment on your email there. Okay, you might not be able to drag and drop, but on this one, we're going to drag and drop. So, put in the person's email. So, I'm going to send it to myself. Okay, give it a subject name. Now I'm just going to put a load of eights, only for the prince reason that we'll actually recognise what it is from that. Okay. Now I want to tell the person I'm sending it to what it is, so I will do audio file. You will notice that I've just changed to capital A as well on audio. That's because I'm using a software called Global Auto Correct, which is actually very good. Right. My audio file. Now I want you to hold the left key on your mouse down, obviously over this, and drag that file anywhere in this window, okay? 
as long as it's, it won't work in that, that or that, it has to be in this big window, anywhere at all, and then let go. Okay? Now you'll see my audio file has now gone from there to there. Okay? Now depending on how big this file is, i.e. how long the recording went on for, depends how long it will take to email. A large file will can take a few minutes, whereas this will probably take a few seconds. The way you can tell this is by this number here. The higher the number, okay, the longer it will take. Okay? So I'm just gonna do send. Okay, now that's sent the email to me. Okay, obviously you sent it to somebody else. Now, if you click up here on Outlook, you can force it to check for new emails. Okay, so I'll click there, and there's the email. And as you can see, with all the eights in the subject box, that's the right one. So double left click to open it. Okay, and you can either double click on it to play it okay you can left click on it drag it and drop it to save it to your desktop or you can do it right click and save as and give it a name okay but I've just dragged it and dropped onto desktop for now which is what the person will do who you send it to so if you send it to your tutor they'll most likely do that and then always they do is oh, I'll get there in a minute play a, B, C, D, E, F. See, so as you can see, the file, okay? So to recap quickly, okay, open Olympus Snartry, open Outlook, new email, type in the address of the person you want to send it to, grab the file you want, drag it over, and drop it, okay? And press send. Also, another thing you can do as well, when you open your Olympus Sonora tree, okay, this is unrelated to the email. If there's files you want that are on your dictaphone, say I want that, say I want this one, and I want to say that's my computer and I don't want to go into the device and do all that, you can still, again, left click, drag, drop. Now that is on your computer and it is also on your dictaphone still. Okay, brilliant. I hope that helps. Thank you.